They're orky, they're deadly, and they're coming up next. Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada, and welcome back to another great vintage unboxing kit where we're going to be taking a look at Ruglud's Armored Orcs. Now this is a great old model kit from a very long time ago, which I just happen to have a copy of, and I'm sure you guys will probably want to see it because it hasn't really been seen in a very, very long time. But before we do that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so every time I make a new video, you're the first ones to see it. And if you love Warhammer models, don't forget to check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca where you can find some Warhammer stuff and check out our War Game Nights every Thursday right here at Monster Hobbies. So without further ado, let's go down and see this great box of Orc Mercenaries. Now we hearken back to the glory days of Warhammer Fantasy, where we get to check out a very vintage set, Ruglud's Armored Orcs. The models on the box show Ruglud's Armored Orcs facing off against some Empire units, and as you can see, they do have an interesting standard bearer. It is in fact a goblin, while all the rest of the figures in this kit are orcs. The back of the box shows our orcs in more detail, and these are all, of course, white metal models, as shown down here. And this is the way you can paint them up, of course, using the old paints. I'm not quite sure when this box set came out, but I do believe it came out around 6th edition as part of the mercenary units that they had back in the day. Now, I did get this set secondhand, so somebody had already started to assemble some of these orcs and actually painted them with black primer. But as you can see, what makes this unit unique is that these orcs are carrying crossbows, which is very unusual. And this unit in its heyday was quite a good one. Now to start off with, we have our Commander-in-Chief, which I believe is Ruggled. And uh, as you can see, he's got a separate head, a hand holding a choppa, and then his other hand he's bashing with his crossbow. Again, the detail on this is really excellent. This is all white metal, so our sword, or sorry, our chopper is going to glue on like this, coming across his face. So then his face should glue on something like that. And as you can see, these have the square base with the slots in them. The slots are at angles, so he will line up facing forward, much like this. Our next figure is the musician. And he is beating on a drum here with this little basher, which looks like a gauntlet from an Imperial, or an Empire Knight, I should say. Not Imperial, but whatever. And uh, again, nice detail, all white metal. You can see the chainmail underneath, as well as his cloaks and whatnot. He is wearing a little breastplate here from an Empire guy again. And what you want to watch for on these white metal models are little tiny hairs and tabs that stick up. But again, very nice detail on this model. The third model in our command crew is this little goblin standard bearer, which is the only model in here that is not an orc. However, he does like to run with the orcs, and as you can see, he's got his little stabba in there. And again, they are wearing some uh, stolen artifacts from the Empire. There's another breastplate there, and a helmet. So again, very nicely detailed from the Games Workshop. Next up, we have the standard models, which make up the rest of this unit. And as you can see, they're all molded as one piece. However, the crossbows are the only things that you would end up actually gluing into their hands. And of course, you have to find the right combination. But basically, that's how they pretty much go. And that completes our look at Rugald's Armored Orcs. 
And if you've built this model kit in the past and played with it in maybe Warhammer Fantasy 6th edition or so, let us know down in the comments. And you can also use this unit in Warhammer Age of Sigmar in the compendiums for our orcs as uh, mercenary orcs. And if you've done that, let us know how that worked in the comment section down below. And if you'd like to share your models, please post the pictures on our Facebook page and I will leave the link for that in the description below. Well, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing video of Ruglud's Armored Orcs. And if you're able to find one of these great kits, you can always use it as the Orcs Mercenaries in your Warhammer Age of Sigmar games. So once again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so every time I make a new video, you are the first one to see it. And until next time, everybody, don't forget to check out www.monster-hobbies.ca and come join us for our Warhammer Gaming Nights every Thursday at 7 p.m. at Monster Hobbies. And until next time, happy gaming!